Hey there. So yesterday I uh, took care of the trimming of the azaleas and then um, we really need to get to work on the orchard. Um, I've got two more trees coming because I read that uh, the um, plums and the uh, pawpaw kind of need a, a companion. So I went ahead and got those. I also got two types of seedless grapes and blackberry. So, so the uh, wall area that I kind of mowed up and cleaned, I thought I was gonna do potatoes there, but you know what, we don't eat that many potatoes, so why, I'll, I'll do some potatoes in containers, but other than that, I, I don't need all that space for that, and that I've been torn as to what to do there. Um, I can plant some, I, I think I'll, I'd do it up front, but uh, some, um, sunflowers and, and I could plant some other flowers in that too to uh, along with the grapes so got that coming um, the blackberry I just got one blackberry and um, I'll find an easy place for that um, don't know if I'd put it over by the blueberries or if I'd put it somewhere else so I'm gonna utilize the space but anyways I'm gonna try something different with uh, some recording I've got my big camera so uh, I'll have that doing most of the recording because uh, this time of year, the battery on this thing is just, uh, or the camera itself uh, can't handle the, uh, the heat. So welcome to Georgia. So I am going to go ahead and, and try to use that and see if it works. I may do that in conjunction with this and then when it dies, it'll, you know, hopefully the, I'll still be able to get footage because I haven't been getting footage good footage so but anyways I am going to go ahead and uh, you know do a little mowing through here um, get that to, back to where I want and then I'm going to clear this whole section here out and then that will keep the area around the ravine clear as well um, so because then that, that this actually gets us closer to being able to clean clean this thing out so and then there were a few other trees that I actually wanted to take out as well. I may end up planting those trees sooner than I, sooner than I thought, because I guess um, after doing some more research, it's actually better to put the bare root directly into the ground, which is why I didn't have any uh, uh, potting instructions. So, anyways, so I am going to uh, gather my toys together. I had to go one trip with all the cameras, so. Um, so I'll go ahead and get that together and uh, start working.
you know the drill. Battery died. In both cameras. So. And I need to find where I put the batteries. But anyways, here's what I've got done so far. There's a lot of uh, dead trees in over here too. There's still one off over there. So I've almost made it to where we enter in down through here. Gotta move that. I'm just pulling along the side for now. Just like that. And then uh, take down a few little trees and I wanna do another good mow over it and take it keep an eye on where the sun goes. Hey son. So I want this a little more sun, this whole area a little more sunny. pushed it over this way and I still missed your fluids. Yeah and the camera probably caught it. Yeah, maybe. But the camera was right over here. Yeah. The breeze probably made it go like this. Maybe. <laughs> It'll be interesting. But those trees not in your way. It's going to take a couple of weeks for this to dry out. Um, well, you got tulip right there, too. I know. Okay. I, I'm getting to it. Okay. I didn't know if you accidentally counted the floor. No, I, I I knocked that little one down, then decided to take, uh, when I knocked these bigger ones down, I was going to just fell all four. It's like, hey, it's perfect place to start chopping them up. All right. And that's what I've been doing. I've been doing just one by one. So, I'm, I'm trying to get these all... So I'm really do, trying to do a good clearing at the bank. Okay. And now we can probably like get in there and take a rake to it and rake it out. All right. That and it's dry as a bone right now. What? The ravine yeah. is dry as a bone. Yeah. Bless you. Again. I'm also going to reroute the trail through here as well, so I don't have that tripping hazard. I'm going to just run it along over on the other side and then just let this kind of grow over. I'll figure it out. Hi. Work on this. Ah, it's a dead spot. There must have been a lot more trees here. 
than there original than there are now because there are feeding holes everywhere. Four of those trees are gone. You got a bigger one? Uh, so. Oh, Terry. Oh, Michael. Got wood? We got lots of wood. Yeah. We're forever wood. Alright. So. I broke through to the other side. Several holes through here, so. so this is the ravine. So now we can easily get into that to, to clean it out. It doesn't look all that bad right now, but further down I think is where the uh, stoppage was. So keep it nice and clean, get sunlight on it, it'll dry up quicker and not be so stagnant. So, but this is a uh, two birds in one type of thing. Okay, so I did finish all the way over to here, which is what I wanted to do. You can now actually kind of see down the ravine. You see what I need to clean up down there. So, so the trail will go like this. I've got some just wood along here for now. It may hit the fire. Several little trees were taken. Stuff is mowed. Also reconfiguring the trail right through here so we don't have the mower hitting that or somebody tripping over it. There are two dead trees over there we took out. We took out a total of four along here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we probably took out at least 12 trees today. 12 to 15. So a few more left. One, two, three, four, five, I think. Because I don't want too much cover over the fruit trees. And they need their full sunlight. So I've been uh, watching the sun all day, although it's been in and out sun, but. And I did have it checked its position. So I'm head down the shortcut, which is only a shortcut if it's not wet. I do like coming down here sometimes because you're right at creek level. So, I, all we have left in that orchard area is to take down those few more trees and uh, burn. So we have one more fire over there to do, but uh, after that it's ready for me to kind of till up a little bit and uh, we're ready to start planting some trees. Thumbs up. So, 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and uh, join us for our next adventure.